Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. My favorite part of making this show is interacting with all of you guys. So today, I'm going to take a bunch of questions. You're watching Snake Bites. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, do I name my snakes? Of course, when you have tens of thousands of snakes, it's kind of hard to keep track of everyone's name, but we do have some favorites that I want to share with you. Of course, there's my albino Burmese python. That's just one of my favorite snakes in my whole collection. And this is Sunshine. I've had her in the show before. She comes around with me whenever I show off snakes. And as you can see, she is just a puppy dog tame animal. She's been around kids her whole life and she's just really an awesome snake. Now on the opposite side of the Burmese python spectrum, you guys have seen my snake, Satan. And certainly Satan is far from a, a nice snake. And you just never know what she's gonna do. We've showed her before, and again, she is just a rotten animal when it comes to attitude, but she's actually a really cool snake, and I actually really like her. But I tell you what, I don't want you to think that Burmese pythons are all mean, because just like Sunshine, believe it or not, we have another snake that's just as big as Satan that we named Baby, and she's actually Satan's sister. And as you can see, she's just as tame as Sunshine. Even though she looks just like Satan, she certainly would never come out and bite me. So it's cool I have a few names. I want to show you a ball python that I just recently had you guys, the viewers, name for me. This is an ivory ball python, and its name is Tusk, obviously after ivory. This is a Woma python, and its name is Jewel. My daughter actually named this snake when she was about six years old, and I've had her ever since. All right, guys, it's Cal's Question of the Week. Every week I'm asking you guys questions, so I'm going to switch it up a little bit. So here's your chance. You guys can ask anybody in the crew anything you want, and I mean anything, so don't be shy. Text your questions below. The next question is, how many snakes are too many for someone to own? The truth is, it really depends on the individual. You can have thousands of animals if you can actually take care of those animals. Let's go back to animal hoarding. The actual definition of hoarding is just that you have too many animals to care for. Someone could have three snakes and not have the ability to take care of those three snakes and they would be considered a hoarder. Or someone could have 30,000 snakes but take care of each one of them with the proper care and they would still not be considered a hoarder. So again, how many animals? I don't know, look around. I think you can have a whole lot as long as you have the ability to take care of them. A question I hear from time to time is, can you eat snake eggs? Well, you certainly can eat them. The question is more, should you eat them? I have a feeling we're gonna have to investigate this one in a future episode. What was the most I've ever paid for a snake? Well, it was this sunset ball python several years ago when the ball python boom was really happening over in West Africa. I got a picture of this particular animal. It was so incredible. They wanted up to $100,000 for it. I had to pull the trigger and buy this animal. It's taken several years of working with it. We have improved the genetic yet, but I'm hoping this year we'll hit it. I get asked all the time, where did the show get its name Snake Bites? Well, guess what? Ken, our camera guy and producer, is sitting right next to me. He'll be able to explain. It actually it was back in the fall of 2007. I was living in Los Angeles, and a roommate of mine invited me to come along and help him shoot the, uh, the reptile show in Anaheim that year. So that was where I met Brian, and uh, we shot what was going to be the, the first episode of this internet podcast that he was going to make. And uh, so on the way home, we were just kind of talking about what we were going to call it, and uh, um, I just thought, you know, snake bites with computer stuff bites and kind of mashed it together. I thought it was kind of a silly idea, but my friend liked it enough that that was the working title for the podcast and it just never really changed. Yep, never changed. And again, I was looking for a really cool name and I didn't even know that Ken had done it. And suddenly I got an email with the name Snake Bites on it. And I thought, wow, that's a really cool idea. And here we are three and a half years later and now Ken's moved back to Michigan. He's my main man with the show and uh, the rest is history. Hey guys, I'm thinking about taking the show in a new direction. Well, what is that supposed to mean? Well, you're all looking pasty, so I got you some tanning packages. Use them up. George? Uh, okay. Now, how do you feel about house music? Is disturbed house music? Uh, not really. Never heard of it. <laughs> there, now you've heard all of it. Hey, house music is really deep. It speaks to your inner humanity. It's primal. You just don't get it. 
It's garbage. Whatever. It's all you guys can listen to in the shop from now on. Yes! Oh, come on, man. And I'm going to need you guys to start drinking more at work. <clears throat> Who said I ever stopped? Yeah, great. Now, I know you guys work out a lot, but I want to start an in-house workout regimen. Start with this. Now do this. Great. Now let's do 200 reps. Brian? Are you trying to make snake bites more like Jersey Shore? No, of course not. That would just be ridiculous. But we're fist pumping. It's just an exercise. Brian, I'm half Italian. I can tell when I'm acting like a guido. You're crazy. Just keep exercising. Good job, George. Brian, come on. Fake tan, house music, alcoholism, fist pumping. Come on. Fine. You're right. I just thought if we jumped on the bandwagon, the show would get more views. Ooh, ooh! Comedy solution! More like the problem. Whatever, Chewy. C-H-E-W-W-I. What's up, bro? Where you at, bro? I'm right here, bro. Where you at, bro? Oh, oh, this is perfect. Get in there, DJ Kelly B. Show them what you got. This is stupid. No, you gotta stop the drama. Help your bros. No. What am I supposed to do with these Ed Hardy gift certificates? Thanks. For this week's Common of the Week, the question was, what are your summer plans? And Dancer124 said, Pretty much plan on being a bum and living the summer life as much as I can. Basically not knowing what time it is because it's summer break, who cares? All I know is I need a serious break from college. Haha, <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with you. Being a bum for a summer would be awesome. But here at BHB, it's all about work during the summer. So make sure you guys have a little bit of fun for me while you're at it. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. And the shout out this week goes to AmazonAlliance.com. It's a really cool arboreal snake forum. You guys got to make sure to check that one out. Until next time, this has been Snake Bites. <laughs>